Namashivai students, today in our EVS class we will discuss chapter 12, our tongue and teeth. But before we start our discussion, I want to give you a brief description about mouth. Mouth is the part of our body that helps us to form a smile. Mouth comprises of lips, teeth and tongue. Lips are the outline of the mouth, whereas tongue and teeth are its inner parts. Apart from these three parts, there are gums, gum line and tooth surfaces. They are also the part of the mouth. We will learn about them in our next class. Today our topic of discussion is only tongue. The tongue is a muscular organ in the mouth. That means the tongue is made up of muscles which are movable. The tongue is covered with moist pink tissue called mucosa. The pink portion that we can see on our tongue, they are basically the pink tissue called mucosa. Certain liquids are formed within this tissue which keep them moist. Tiny bumps called papillae give the tongue its rough texture. You can see small bumps are present on the tongue. They are called papillae. Students, when you will put your finger on your tongue, you will feel a little bit roughness. That is due to this papillae. Thousands of taste buds cover the surfaces of the papillae. We all know that the taste buds help us to feel the taste of our food. They are present on the surfaces of this papillae. These taste buds contain nerves which send the taste information to the brain and we act accordingly. The tongue is vital for chewing and swallowing food as well as for speech. Now how it helps us in this two process? When we chew the food, the tongue and the cheeks work together constantly to move the food between the teeth so that it can be chewed properly. The tongue then presses the crushed food and make them moist so that we can easily swallow those food particles. In this way, the tongue plays an important role in the process of chewing and swallowing food. Now we will come how it helps in the process of speech. We all know that tongue is made up of muscles which is movable. So we can turn or roll our tongue in different directions which help us to make sounds. And from that sounds we can make our speech. See the tip of the tongue. The tip of the tongue, it helps us to make a D sound. So what are the functions of tongue? The tongue is vital for chewing and swallowing food as well as for speech. It helps us to taste the food. We all know that this is the major function of our tongue. It helps us to feel the taste of different types of food that we eat. There are four common tastes, sweet, sour, bitter and salty. Now see this diagram. This is the diagram where the location of taste buds are indicated. The tip of the tongue help us to enjoy the food that are sweet. We can judge whether the food is bitter or not with the help of the taste buds that are present at the back of the tongue. Sides of our tongue help us to feel the taste sour and salty food respectively. So students, now you can understand how tongue is precious for us. So we have to take care of it. Now how will take care? There are three steps that are mentioned over here which we have to do every day to keep our tongue safe. What are the 
three points. First one, clean the tongue with a tongue cleaner after brushing your teeth. That means after brushing your teeth, you have to use a tongue cleaner to clean your tongue so that no bacteria will remain inside your mouth. The next point, rinse your mouth after each meal so that the food that sticks on your tongue can be removed. That means you have to clean your mouth properly. Otherwise, the food that remains on your tongue may cause germs and bad smell. The third point, avoid eating too much spicy food and hot liquids which causes wound on our tongue. We all know that if we drink hot tea or coffee, we burnt our tongue. Even too much spicy food affects the tissue that are present on the tongue. And if this will happen, our taste buds will get affected and it will become difficult for us to enjoy the taste of our favorite food. So we have to avoid eating the spicy food and hot liquids. Now students, I think it is clear to you all how you will take care of your tongue. Today, I stop my discussion over here. What you have to do, you will read the chapter till tongue care from your book and in your EVS copy, you will draw and level this diagram that is the location of taste birds on the tongue. You can follow this picture or the diagram that is given in your book in page number 84. But before you start drawing the diagram, you have to write the name of the chapter on top that is our tongue and teeth and the name of the topic location of taste birds on the tongue. Then you will start drawing this picture. But be careful, you have to draw and label the name of the taste birds mentioned over here. You need not to color anything. I think it is clear to you. Namah Shivai.